Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your Warrior Drum reading for April the 1st through the 10th. This is a Warrior Drum. It's considered a Warrior Drum because the hide it is made of is elk. Elk represents stamina, determination, bravery, and patience. It is also considered a protector and relative. Not, quote, an animal, but it's considered a brother or sister. Okay, for Native Americans, the drum is not just a musical instrument. It is used to bring balance and renewal. It's considered the heartbeat of Mother Earth and represents the circle of life. Okay, so let's start your reading here. We have the man in the maze. Sieha, big brother. When life gets confusing, you can ask Sieha for help. Your spirit animal is the moose, which is all about self-esteem and how you see yourself. And our sign and symbol card is the morning star and guidance, which C.A.H.A. will give you if you ask. You do have to ask. Okay, in the east on our drum, this is what is coming in to your life. We have mahogany obsidian, protective, repels negative people, is grounding, removes energy blockages and helps you reclaim your power. So we have the West Shield, introspection and goals, really thinking about the future, where you're going. We have the moon, take note of intuitive messages, listen to your gut. And dog spirit says, be loyal to what you love. In the south is the place of innocence and the inner child. And we have goldstone. Boosts confidence, paves the way for your dreams, and brings prosperity and abundance through action. We have the vision quest. Seeking and finding. You're doing a lot of thinking here. Medicine Mother says, honor your inner knowing, which is what the moon is telling you. And Skunk Spirit says, know your worth. You are worthy. In the West, we have lessons learned, and we have red tiger eye, which brings confidence, self-esteem, motivation, high energy, vitality, and passion. We have the great smoking mirror and reflections. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Remember, skunk is telling you, Know your worth. Fire Guardian says to ignite your passion for life, for your dreams, for your future. Peacock Spirit says let it shine. Let who you are and what you represent shine. Don't let anybody hold you back. Okay, in the north is the place of wisdom and gratitude, and we have bloodstone. Increases energy and strength, combats fatigue, irritability, and confusion, brings love into any situation, and has very strong healing power. Okay, we have the painted face and self-expression. This whole reading is about where, how you see yourself, where you see yourself, what you think you are capable of. 
So don't hold yourself back. The heart guardian says love and let yourself be loved exactly the way you are. And then, oh, we have cow spirit. The miracles are endless. They happen every day. Okay, let's see what your rune is. You have the rune of fertility and new beginnings. That's awesome. You can have a new beginning once you start believing in yourself. Sister Moon says, you and your loved ones are safe. So that's always awesome. So you had a very good reading. It's all about thinking. Um, you might be in your head a little too much is what it's telling me. Okay. Believe in yourself. Okay, now I'm taking these off. Like I said, this uh, hide was an elk, so I put our elk tooth on there. And this is the drum. You can see the wood here. You can see the leather. And on each direction, there is a color. So this, the white represents north, red in the east, green and yellow in the south, black in the west, okay? So that's what it looks like, and then you're gonna hear what it sounds like. And we're going to do the elk prayer, which is Sue. Do you hear it picking up the vibrations of my voice? Isn't that interesting? Okay, so we have the elk prayer. Elk, your strength and stamina far exceed those of your predators. Your unpredictability is an asset. May I take pride in myself and all my doings with the nobility of elk. I have the strength to go the distance and the sensitivity to respond to my surroundings with love and compassion. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.